Hello everyone, many people including myself are sad that there was no announcement about Elden Ring DLC at Game of the Year reward. And because of that, I had a question, why? Why they still didn't release DLC? For example, in Dark Souls games, DLC were released very quickly. For example, DLC for Dark Souls 2 was released after 4 months and the third and the last one was released after 7 months after the game's release. The longest Dark Souls needed for DLC release was 1 year and 1 month for Artoria's DLC. And because of that, I had a question, why they are not releasing or why we don't even know anything about the release date of this DLC. After researching a bit, I saw a few videos that said that the DLC will be a huge one. Yeah, there are no actual proofs and are more like a fanfic level videos, but this is all we have. Ok, let's imagine that DLC is big. Why we still have zero information about DLC? For example, Blood and Wine is also a huge DLC, but it was released only after a year, and before that there was another DLC. And unlike Witcher, let's be honest, there really isn't a much work for Elden Ring's DLC, especially after realizing how well made and how balanced was Elden Ring's main game itself. So after thinking a while, I had a question, is Shadows of Air 3 even a DLC? Like think about it. All we know is that there will be an expansion for Elden Ring, but there was zero word about it being DLC. Many people say that Shadow of Air 3 will be DLC, but there are no proofs about that. All we know is that this will be Elden Ring's expansion, but there was no word about it being a DLC. So I think that Shadow of Air 3 is not a DLC, it's a sequel of Elden Elden Ring, and that's why it takes so long for its release. Or Miyazaki has always just is way too lazy and it's stretching release date as far as possible. And please, I just beg you, don't say that he is not lazy, especially after remembering that Elden Ring's story and lore is just a lazy copy paste of Dark Souls 1 and 2. Bosses are repeating themselves over and over, and half of the time they are just basic mobs that has a huge HP bar. In main game we have only 7 unique bosses, open world is literally a huge empty world which is full of chalices from Bloodborne, animations and weapons are from Dark Souls 3, and many bosses have movesets of mobs and bosses from previous games, so please just don't shame yourself. So yeah, I think that Shadow of Air 3 will be just a full price DLC, just like God of War Ragnarok. People like always will consume it and will scream for more full price DLCs. But I hope I am wrong and Miyazaki is just waiting to see Mikela's feet at 8k resolution. With this I will say bye bye to you and I will see you next time.